Hello boys and girls, it's me again, Opus XPN, and I hope that you're having a great Saturday afternoon. I'm here at home relaxing, I just came back from the park, took my girls bike riding, um, and I'm relaxing with a little bit of uh, patchouli, the sweet scent of patchouli. It's a goloka stick, love this stuff. Um, and I was messing around outside with my ferro rods when I came back from the park <clears throat> I took out one of my moras and I was like okay I'm gonna strike the back you know the uh, ferro rod with the back of my knife guess what it did not work this unfinished back end or back stock or back spine of the knife it is blunt there's no 90 degree on the back so I couldn't get a freaking spark out of any of my ferro rods. So, what I did, being so bright and intelligent and smart and sophisticated, I started hitting it with the edge. I mean, the sparks flew like you wouldn't believe, but the edge got ruined. My candy grind got vent, you know, had some chips and stuff. You have a very thin edge, so. Well, I uh, <clears throat> came back in, and I'm going to take out my diamond plates to put back my scandy grind on it and resharpen it. But I decided to put a secondary bevel on it. I don't know if you can see, you probably can see the reflection there on the light, that this knife is no longer a scandy grind. This knife is now a western angle knife in a way. Um, as you can see, I was sharpening it with my mini stick, ceramic $7 mini stick. I just started doing this back and forth for like 20 minutes, more or less. But because of this um, finger guard, I cannot get all the way back to the very heel of the knife. So you have a scandy grain from here to here, and you have a secondary bevel from here all the way to the tip. So, I, was, I wanted a stronger edge, right? So I started messing with the paper, and it cuts fairly well. We say, well, that's regular paper. How about this paper, or how about phone book paper? You know, let me see on the phone book paper. How does it cut? Does it cut good? Does it snag? What does it do? Well, it cuts fairly well on this on the phone book also. Let me try to do a push cut on it. Let me see if I can try a push cut. So I was fairly surprised to see that it cuts the paper really well being that I've been sharpening or putting a secondary bevel on this edge with a $7 ceramic stick and let me tell you that it's not so much the stick or the technique or you know it's the actual knife the ease of how it sharpens it's very very easy to sharpen Morris um, as you know for a uh, scandy grind you just press with the big angle that the knife has and just sharpen it back and forth and you get your scandy grind right away you get all scratches right here um, if you put a secondary bevel, you never touch that large angle unless you're going to reprofile. You only touch the very, very bottom, the very edge. Um, and that's what I did. I put a secondary bevel on my more. I've never done it before. This is the first time. But I'm very happy with the edge. And I think I might do it to some other of my moras. Because the edge is a little bit stronger than the scandy grind 
in my opinion, because you have a stronger edge there. And it's not that difficult to sharpen. There's no difference from Scandi. I mean, once you know your angles more or less, this one doesn't have a 40 on it. It has more or less like a 35, 32, 35 around there. And it's not about precision of the angles. It's about being constant with the sharpening strokes that will get you a proper edge. Um, so I'm using this. I have nothing to go by when it comes to the angle. So basically, it's just my, my memory, the memory of my hand that's doing the motion, you know, because of my plates, when I sharpen on my plates. So I'm putting the same angle over and over again on both sides. And it's fairly easy to do that. It's not that difficult once you start memorizing the um, the angles. You know, yeah, I haven't even stopped it yet. I need to stop it, but it cuts fairly well for being no longer a candy grind. And I'm really seriously thinking of putting it on some other of my moras because I'm very satisfied with the results and you can see there the light reflection on the secondary bevel of that knife and you can see where the scandy starts right there there's no reflection or very 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 some reflection there um, I'll get it all the way back but just need to get my plates out but I'm very satisfied and as you know not all knives are made the same not all steels like the same angles, not all steels like the same grits, um, but for through rule of thumb, always try to get your edge or your micro bevel between 35 and 40 for utility knives. Um, anything bigger like big survival knives and big outdoor knives, I will go 45, maybe 50 depending on the knife. For kitchen knives, I like to, I, I like it on 30. You know, it depends on the manufacturer. Some manufacturers have it lower, some have it a little bit higher, but 30 is what I like, you know, the angles I like on my kitchen knives. <coughs> so, this video is about how easy it is to put an edge on a mortar. Excellent, excellent, excellent steel. Uh, very easy to shape. And this is carbon steel, this is not stainless, so carbon steel is a little bit harder than stainless. Um, but it's getting a razor, razor sharp edge with a cheap $7 ceramic stick. And I did a reprofiling basically. Oh no, not a reprofiling, but um, I basically put a secondary bevel on it with just that stick. I didn't even have to hit the stones to get it. I'm very satisfied with it, very satisfied with it. And I'm gonna try it on some other my Morris, just to get it some more balls behind the edge, right? Um, convexing, not too fond of convexing. Uh, I know it's a great edge, but uh, for me, I like the regular color grinds, saber grinds. Those are the ones I like. Full flat grinds. I mean, those are the edges I like, and the grains that I like. All of them have a secondary bevel, so I'm a big fan of secondary bevels because it's very easy to retouch um, and very easy to get on most steels. I mean, this if you start hitting M4 and as 110B and stuff like that, then you have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. You have to get diamond steels involved, diamond plates and stuff like that um, to get that metal removal. In the Moras, you don't need that. You can get it with ceramics really, 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 really easy. That's why I like this knife so much. They're so easy to work with, easy to sharpen. I mean, you can destroy them if you want because you can replace them really, really, really easy. 
Um, so try it out. Maybe you'll like it like I do. With a secondary bevel on that more. Or get one with a secondary bevel and then leave the other one handy. So you have two different edges on it. For me, this one is working like a charm. And I think I'll have um, more time of use in between sharpenings with this secondary bevel. I'm going to strop it right now to see what happens. And um, I should get a very nice edge, a better edge still. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.